Hey YouTube, it's BP1991X bringing you another knife review. Uh, the knife today is the Smith & Wesson SWAT Dual Action Automatic. Um, and um, starting off with the handle, the handle is 4 inches, so that's the handle and closed length. And uh, on the handle, there's four uh, Kraton rubber inserts, one here, one here, and uh, two on the back. And uh, on the back you have a black Teflon coated pocket clip and uh, this knife sits in the pocket pretty well. Also you have a lanyard hole and uh, this button on the back. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, but next, the blade. The blade is going to be a 440C stainless and uh, the style is drop point. And on the website where I got it it said spear point but uh, this just seems like a drop point to me. And uh, on the blade you have a single right side um, thumb stud so no thumb stud on the back so bad for the uh, left handed people but um, good for me I'm right handed and you have jimping on the top of the blade which is uh, very good and with, in the, with the combination of the rubber inserts and the jimping you can get a really good grip on this knife and uh, this knife fits my hand really well it's the medium sized knife um, so the overall length is seven and a quarter inch inches um, so nice size for me and nice size for uh, my, a medium EDC which I have been carrying for a couple days and uh, this is one of Smith & Wesson's higher quality knives um, I know that a lot of people don't like Smith & Wesson knives and uh, I've never had a problem with it and uh, never had a problem with any of my Smith & Wesson knives and uh, the blade steel is 440C um, which is not the best steel but it's okay for what I'm using it for EDC it's pretty, it's pretty sharp uh, out the box and um, after it gets dull I think I can put a pretty good edge on it. I have other knives that are made with 440C and um, this button here makes this knife a automatic knife. It's called a dual action so you can operate it by using the thumb studs or this button. Just with the tip of your thumb you press down on the button and it makes this knife a full automatic knife and um, it is called, it's called a dual action and uh, with this automatic feature it does take practice to get it just right you can't just touch the button anywhere and uh, it will open you really have to use the tip of your thumb to really uh, get it out and you have to put some pressure on that button and I have here another automatic knife um, just to show you that this one is a little bit easier push this is just, I hit it on the tape, I keep hitting it on the table, but there it is. That's just a, sh that's just a comparison that this knife needs a little bit more pushing out. It doesn't come out um, as fast, but with practice you can get this knife out pretty fast. Um, so he, there's the knife again. It's the Smith & Wesson 4000 GB um, liner lock dual action. And uh, this is the medium size, seven and a quarter inches. And uh, it also comes in two other sizes, um, small and large. And uh, this knife was $20, which is a very good price because on all the other websites that I checked, this knife um, is $30 to $50. So great, um, great sort of mid-range or um, budget automatic. And, it, and I really like the uh, dual action feature. Um, I guess it's not necessary because I can open this knife pretty fast without the um, without the automatic feature um, but it's just nice to have it's just cool something different something out of the usual that I wanted to show you guys um, so if you're interested in this knife check your local laws first on um, automatic knives and um, I will post the link where I got this knife from in the description and all the specifications will be in the description so you can take a look at it so again this is the Smith & Wesson SWAT medium dual action knife. Thanks for watching, more videos to come.